So it's about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I've come back down with the wheels and I've brought the rod. Now I've actually brought the rod. I'm actually seeing there we've got a bit of crab in that bucket. I'm going off to what we call rockfish. It's Ballonrass. Uh, it lives down this sort of weedy area. As you can see the tide is out. At the moment we've got about, today it's about a nine and a half metre tide, so it's pretty big today. The water's not looking too good. It's a bit murky. It's always better for rockfish when it's nice and clear and still and uh, bright conditions. But when I was looking over, just checking the spot out, if you look down, I don't know if we can get in on it. We will try, let me see. Down there. Hold on, hold on, I'm trying to figure it out a minute. It is, I think that's it there. That there. Might be a bit close. But that is actually a crab, a spider crab sitting in the in the weed. I've lost it again. I mean I can just about make it out. Trouble is tide's coming in, it's moving around a bit. But trust me, there is actually a crab sitting there. If it was nice clearer conditions, we might see more and get a better view of them. So I'm gonna be putting a wheel down down there. And I'm also gonna be putting one back over there and then I'm going to start fishing for rockfish now we did attempt to make another video on the crab wheel on the one we made if you've seen the previous video right so here we are morning, <laughs> morning. this is Damien I'm going to try and get as little of me on the camera as possible because I've got <laughs> shit hair <laughs> there you go right we're just pulling up the first wheel to see if we've got anything It's a negative. Nothing. Okay, we'll try on the next one. No. No. So as you can see, we didn't catch anything. And uh, nothing. So I've been trying for rockfish for the last 10 minutes or so. We haven't done any luck yet, but I think the tide needs to come in a bit more. Plus the water's a little murky, which doesn't always help. Rockfish tend not to feed so well when it's uh, murky or they just don't see the bait. So we're gonna pull the first crab wheel and see if we've got any crabs. There you go. One female spider crab. She's probably just under size, I'd say. You see, it's a female by this, and the small claws. The males have much bigger claws. But we're going to let her go, and then we're going to go and lift the other wheel.
And there you go. Another one in the other wheel. This is a male, you can see the claws are much bigger. And the difference underneath. Again, this one's probably just under size, but you probably wouldn't take them this small. You wait till they get you, they get much bigger than this. So hopefully we'll see a much bigger one. There you have it. First rockfish of the morning. Lovely yellowy golden coloured one. Take this chap off, get him back into the water and try for a much bigger one. Right, pull this wheel again, it's been down a little while. There we go. Another little baby on. This is a really small one, this one. So this one I'll go straight back. Just check. It's actually got, I don't know if you can see this, it's actually got eggs, even that small. So we're going to head off now. You can see there's quite a large swell pushing in. It's made the water discoloured, which isn't good when you're fishing for, fishing for the Ballon Rass. I've always found that over the years, that when the water's murky, they just don't fish well. But we ended up catching three crabs. We've put everything back. Now we're going to head off and have some breakfast.